If you want to buy cheap Ultimate Team coins, go and check out igvault.com and use a discount code EGHD at the checkout to get yourself 6% off your order. Yes, guys, welcome back to the best possible squad builder series. Today, we're building a 500,000 coin team. Now, I'm going to be doing these videos slightly different. I'm actually going to run a competition. The way this competition is going to work is you're going to leave me a comment in this video. You can only change three players in this team to improve it, to make this team better. Obviously, it's also budget permitted, so you can't spend more than 500,000 coins on this team, for example. So what I want you to do is leave in the comment section a comment with three players to make this team better. The person that leaves me the best comment I will give it a love heart and then I'm going to give them more trading permissions in my Discord group. So they get to see all the marquee matchups, predictions, they get to see all the sniping filters. Basically, you get free trading advice, which is like printing money on FIFA. Hopefully that all makes sense. It should be pretty clear. But without further ado, let's get into the squad builder. So guys, as I said, this is going to be a 500k squad builder and it's going to be actually just under 500,000 coins on Xbox, but it's going to be more than 500,000 coins on PlayStation. But I'm going to give you some options as well to make the actual team cheaper. So you can basically build the same teams whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation. The first player in this squad is going to be Saudi Omani. When building a 500k team, you've got to think of at least one, two, maybe three players to start building the core of the squad around. And this year, Premier League players are just amazing. I've used Saudi Omani for the last, well, the, quite a lot recently, the last month or so. This player has been popping up in a lot of my squad builders. I think the value that you get is just incredible. Even if you play him out of position like I am here, left mid in a centre mid position, he's still going to get seven chemistry and he's going to not feel any different really, at least in my opinion. In my our previous best possible squad we had the best possible 1 million coins team and we actually use players like um, Salah but with 500,000 coins we can't quite afford those players so what I'm going to do is actually bring in another player that I think this year has really just fit the meta especially the more they've patched this game the more Fernandez actually fits the meta I've seen a lot of people say that his team of the year card is better than well it's obviously better than De Bruyne's card but also it's better than Rud Hullet like people actually prefer the team of the year to uh, Bruno Fernandez over Rud Hullet I personally have this card uh, red cards like a second in form card it's amazing I know this isn't the second in form but there's not a lot of price difference here well there's not a lot of in-game difference uh, 77 paces defending is not great but he seems to be in the right position like defensively so playing him as more of your attacking center mid it really fits this player well 83 shooting his dribbling is amazing it feels better than 85 in my opinion even on the gold card um, 88 passing if you've got more coins and you want to build this squad definitely upgrade this card to like the in form or the second in form now previously when we did the best possible 300k team teams and best possible 500k teams within the first month of the game we used this player a lot it is going to be uh, Marcus Rashford so Rashford for a long time was about 200,000 coins you're looking at close to about 40 or 50,000 coins about 65,000 coins on PC that's because PC is extortionate it's so expensive on this platform but I still love uh, the, the graphics is so much better on it also it, the gameplay is a little bit smooth but anyway 91 pace 85 dribbling 83 shooting he was incredible last year still incredible five star skills just love this player I can't really go into much more detail because I've used him so many times you are probably sick of me actually talking about him the main reason this is really good is because it also gives us that strong link to Bruno Fernandes which means we can go for any left back and any centre back and I know you're probably thinking are you going to do it Jack are you going to put in the most boring players known to FIFA 21 everyone goes on about it how it's very very boring I'm going to do it it is a best possible squad builder which means I don't care about the colours in this squad I don't care about using different leagues different nationalities all I care about is performance I want to get the most wins in weekend league that's why you do it so we've got uh, a Mendy here and a Varane Mendy was my first valuable player that I ever packed on this account I packed him when he was going for 100,000 coins on PC and I've stuck with him since you can see here 336 games played I've kept him on a basic chem style probably should have put him on an anchor or shadow by now but um, I just I don't know he just seems to be a nice balanced uh, player I used him a lot moving into like a centre mid position used him for a lot of objectives that's why I kept him on this chem style Varane I packed a little bit later first owner but um, he is well worth it probably the best gold center back in FIFA 21. Now let's go ahead and actually sort out this attack. So we haven't actually got a striker. We've got someone playing out of uh, out of position. Again, he's going to be on seven chemistry, just like Sadio Mane. And that's going to be Hyung Min Son. Again, I've used him previously in these cheaper, best possible squad builders, 300k and 500k. Uh, fantastic. Five star, weak foot, four star skills. So the reverse of Rashford. A little bit stiff. So for, so for example here, it says 87 dribbling on Hyung Min Son. I actually think that this Bruno Fernandes card is actually 
actually got better dribbling than him or they should actually have the reverse. So it should be 85 dribbling on Hyungmin Son and actually um, 87 on Bruno Fernandes. That's how it feels in game, but it's all to do with the statistics and how they work out, how they factor in the dribbling stats versus the agility, the balance and all these other things. So at this point, we've got a lot of coins spent. I think we've got about 100 to 150,000 coins left on the Xbox and PlayStation console. What we're going to do is go for a Kante. Actually, we've got more than 150 because this is another expensive player. This is going to sort out a chemistry link here with Varane as well because when you get a perfect link, uh, French, Real Madrid, that's a perfect link to Varane. That means that we just need one more chemistry link. So that's why we've gone for Kante. And not to mention, he's one of the best CDMs in the game. Again, that's a gold player. I'd say he's not as good as he was in previous years, but he's still amazing. 88 rated. You're going to have some incredible stats if you're 88 rated. Stats that you don't even control in games such as reactions, composure, those things, they make a difference. We've also just got a what if a promo card for Kante, which is probably going to get upgraded plus two. I think it's a 91 rated, so it's probably going to be 93. It's going to feel like a team the season card, especially at this point of the game. If you're on a big budget, then of course you can go for that. But if you're watching this video, you probably don't have a big budget. And now what we're going to do in the right wing spot, we don't really have a big budget left for this. So we want to keep costs down. So we're going to go, where is he? It is going to be a, a Lucas Mora. So in this position, guys, it's more about preference. You could go for a bail. You could play St. Maximum off chem if you like, instead of, you know, a right winger, you could go for the other side. It really comes down to preference, a five-star skiller. I think uh, Lucas Mora for the budget. At the end of the day, you've got so many players here. You've got uh, Saudi Mane and Rashford and Hyung Min Son. Like, Mora is not going to be a striker for you. He's going to be playing on the wings. So I, I, I think that in a left mid position or right mid position, they're not going to touch the ball too much. They're just going to be running into space. So the main stats you want is high pace, high dribbling, and just get on your bike. Just run down the wings, create space. Now, guys, this is where it's going to change. If you have 500,000 coins on PlayStation, you might want to change uh, how much you, or which players you pick here. So the first one's going to be Gomez. Now, at this point, you've got many options. You could just go for Pope as a goalkeeper. Very cheap. You could go for the Inform uh, Pope. But what I've done here for Xbox is just gone for Allison. That's going to get a strong link. He's going to be on full chemistry. Gomez is going to get a strong link and then for the right back position as well it comes down to preference if you're on a budget you can go for a Semedo obviously not this version of Semedo you could just go for the gold Semedo you could go for Wan Bissaka if you like uh, but if you've got the budget if you're on Xbox go for Walker because this is going to be 500,000 coins on Xbox it's about 600,000 on PlayStation you change Walker and you change Allison and it brings it down to 500,000 on PlayStation now personally I think at this point of the game it's going to take a long time for you to be able to upgrade this best possible 500k team. It's gonna, it's probably gonna take us to, to get to like team of the season before we see enough of a price drop on these players to allow us to actually, you know, upgrade these positions. Like, how can you possibly make this team better? But as I said at the start of the video, guys, I'm gonna be doing a competition. Leave in the comments if you would change three players in this squad, just three. Whoever chooses the best three players to replace the, you know, the players that you can see on the screen, I'm gonna love heart your comment and I'm also gonna give you an upgrade in Discord. So make sure you leave your Discord name in your comment. So obviously for this team as well, I've got to mention, um, you do have two players off chem, which means if you need to make sure you get a good manager. So I've gone for a French and a Premier League manager, which means you're going to get upgrades to, you know, these two for being French, although I've already got loyalty on them and everyone else is going to get max chemistry as well because it's a Premier League manager. If you enjoy these squad builders, especially these best possible squad builds, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed to see this content. I'm going to try to do two of these per week. What we're going to do now is go in some games, check out the custom tactics as I always do. 4-2-3-1, 4-4 Two. Now, if I'm using 4 2 3 1, I play Mane as striker, Hilgerman Son as the cam, Rashford on the left wing. There's really no, oh well, left cam. There's really no right or wrong here. You could play Rashford as the cam, have Son on the left. You could put Mane on the left. I think it's a bit of a waste putting your most expensive attacker um, on the wings. I'd say put him, put Mane as a cam or a striker. Now, for 4 4 2, we've got Hilgerman Son and uh, Mane as striker, and then obviously Bruno Fernandez as the attacking midfielder with Kante on stay back. All right, let's see who we're playing against. He's got a, a player of the month, Bruno Fernandez and he's got, wow, what a team. It's the old Ronaldo, the Man United Ronaldo, basically. Rashford, Mane, he's got all my attackers and midfielders. He's even gone for Van Dijk. It's a decent team. Nothing too OP though, not a lot of icons. That's nice movement. Dabala, is this his flashback? I've not actually played against this card before, but it has been very good. In oh, wow, nice La Croqueta. Should have finessed it. Oh no, this guy is twisting me up. And that fake shot, I, I did read the fake shot, but... The ball just kind of got stuck, but he carried on. It's weird. Come on. Wow. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I'm not going to win a header against Van Dyke, am I? Oh, he's found it. He wants to get on his left foot, doesn't he? Because it's Dybala. That, that's the problem with Dybala. And he's found it. That was terrible defending. Oh, Dybala's good, man. 
Come on. Yes, son. Go across goal. Come on. Finally, 76 minutes in. I'm not going to lie. I am struggling personally in this game. You know, when those, you're just having one of those games, you keep messing up those most simple passes. Oh, he's done me. He's actually, this is, he's got a bit of jam. He's got a bit of jam with that one. GG's, man. I'm going to say, like, first time I've played against Dybala, and he's absolutely ripped me. And if you're wondering why it's the first time, I've not played a lot of FIFA the last couple of months, but Dybala has been saucy. He's been better than the Ronaldo, the cheap, uh, cheaper Ronaldo. Come on, Mane, can we get one back? No. Oh, we've had a bit of a shocker for the gameplay today. Probably not the best way to actually demonstrate how good this team is, but it is 500k. 500k at this point in the game really isn't an expensive team, but I think the, the players that you get in this team uh, for the value is obviously astounding. Uh, I actually managed to win my first game today on. I was feeling good. Went into some gameplay just there and Dybala absolutely ripped me. Got a couple of quick goals and I think that's why went on the back foot. I just realised as well I didn't even have a chem style on Saudi Mane. Well, normally I'd put probably a finisher chem style or a marksman chem style or maybe even a hawk. Hawk could probably be good for Saudi Mane. As I said at the start of the video guys, make sure you drop three comments or three players in a comment below. Which ones would you change in the squad to make it better? Obviously you can only spend 500,000 coins on the total squad. If if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the likes, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.